Hey there everyone, this is Stephanie again, and it is time for Timu. Alright, let's see, what did I get today? I got some jewelry, I got some craft stuff, I got some household stuff, I got some storage stuff, I got a lot of stuff today. Um, but I'm probably not going to show it all, so um, more than likely I'm not going to show the storage stuff, because that was stuff I bought for my brother, so... I probably won't show that. But, let's show some other stuff. Okay. Alright, this is a ring. And it looks like uh, the old-fashioned rings. Um, let's see here. Bring it up close. Isn't that pretty? It's in gold. I've never seen these in silver. This style ring in silver. So, it is in gold. And I will be wearing it on that finger. It's very pretty. Or that finger. Or maybe even that finger. It's very pretty. Let's try it on one of the other fingers. I meant to do my nails. I didn't mean to keep this gold junk on. It is just so hideous. Hate it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I really like this. It's so dainty and old fashioned. And I remember these from long ago when they used to make um, the class rings for high school. And they almost look like this. They had the gold and then the black in the middle with the little uh, stone in the very middle. So they kind of look like the old timey um, class rings. I know it clashes with that, doesn't it? So, um, next piece of jewelry. Now I'll just be pulling this stuff off of the top. I didn't go through it and um, sort it out this time because I got to go work in the office tomorrow and I just don't want to be all day. <laughs> so I'm just pulling it off the top, actually from the bottom because it looked like they had my bag, my box upside down. So I decided to just pull it off, the, turn the box up, right side up and um open it up from what looks like might be the what they made as the bottom okay this is very cute i like this this is some ear jewelry you can probably tell from the shape um if I can get this to show up good enough. This is some air jewelry that I got. And I don't have my other phone with, so I'm going to have to just ad lib today. Um, But yeah, I don't know how much I paid for it either. You know what? I'm not going to ad lib. Hang on for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, this ring, oh, not that one, this one. This ring um, is a Bohemian heart gold color ring, gold color ring for women. It's a love heart uh, with black enamel in the middle. Um, I paid for this a dollar and 88 cents is what I paid. I'm going to put glasses on because everything is looking real blurry. So, we better put them glasses on. That's why I paid so much money for them. Okay. Now, that was that, the ring, and then that piece of ear jewelry. Um, it's called uh, Colorful Irregular Stone Crystal Faux Pearl Butterfly Tassel Women's Clip-On Earrings Hook. Um, you do not need a pierce. Do not need a piercing um, on the cartilage or on your earlobe for this. You just 
hook it around the ear. Um, I bought two of these, so there's another one somewhere down there in that box. I paid two dollars and eighty nine. Wait, yeah, two dollars and eighty nine cents for these. Aren't they pretty? Very pretty. Okay, next we have some magnets. It says it's a one piece. Uh, oh, I thought this was a two piece. <laughs> I was trying to pull it apart from out of the bag and I said, okay, let's worry about this later. But it is a one piece. One side says dirty and the other side says clean. It's for your um, dishwasher. Dishwasher Magnet Clean Dry Sign Indicator. Uh, it's double-sided. <clears throat> um, has extra magnetic plate for kitchen organizing. I paid $2.19 for this. Okay. I got to situate my camera, too, so it doesn't look like things are upside down. Um, I like the way it worked out last time, but this time it's not working out so well. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to remember how my camera is set up. Okay, next is, these are you use these Okay, let's go out some. Okay. You use these to um, hang your mop and brooms on the wall. That's what they, they're there for. And they're the kind where you don't have to put a hole in your wall. You could just, it has the double uh, sided adhesive in there. And it holds up to 22 pounds. So if you got a 22 pound mopper broom, I think I better get rid of it because it's going to be too heavy for these. These will hold up to 22 pounds. And um, I'm going through two different um, sets of receipts here for these orders. <laughs> um, you get three pieces stainless steel punch free mop hooks. Um, 22 pounds max weight. I paid $4.28 for each of them. And I'm going to see if I can open these up so that you can see them. Okay, stand by. Okay, you get three of these. They're individually wrapped like that. They come with three, their own little uh, double-sided ad adhesive for each, the back of each one. This is one that's out of the plastic here. So this is what it looks like. You just need to find a place on your wall to put them so you can hang your brooms and your mops. Okay. That's that. I'm not sure if I told you how much I paid for those on my, uh, these here. Uh, I paid $4.28 each for each one. Okay, this is my third one of these. <laughs> Remember, I bought two, and my mom took one of them. Uh, but this is my replacement for the one that she took. It's going to go in the car. Um, it's car glass cleaner, three-in-one. Uh, rotational spray glass wiper window squeegee with spray and sponge. I paid $3.48 for this one. And it is a really, really pretty color. So, there's that. This actually came out, so I guess 
Maybe they do come out. I don't know. I don't know. Good stuff. And you just put your water in the reservoir here. Close it up. Or water or windshield wiper fluid. What have you. You can spray your window. Push that in there like so. And wipe your window and squeegee it clean. And there you go. Okay. There's that. Okay, these are, I bought two of them, one for me, one for my mom. Always, um, if I think she needs something, I'll go ahead and buy one for her as well. And I don't know how many can opener, jar opener things I've bought for her. So, and she still insists on using that raggedy behind 50 year old rubber round thing that they used to sell in, in the grocery store and Walmart. It's so toe up. It's ridiculous. And she's still trying to use it. So anyway, <laughs> I hope she uses these because this will open the little, the little Coke or soda, soda bottles, uh, milk jugs, uh, bigger jugs, jars of pickles. I don't know. It should open everything. She should not have a need for that raggedy behind piece of rubber she's still using. Uh, but it's called the One Piece Multifunctional 4-in-1 Jar Opener, Jar Gripper, Lid Opener, Can Opener, Bottle Opener for Arthritic Hands and Weak Hands. Um, the Jar Opener for Seniors with Arthritis is what this is called. I bought two of them, one for me, one for my mom, and I paid two dollars and seventy-eight cents for each one. So hopefully she gets some use out of that. Okay, sorry for the glare on this, but it's all bent up because they'd be forcing these things in these boxes and these bags. I'm really surprised I didn't get a bag, but I got a box. Which I wish they would do all the time because I hate those bags. Um, this is a one-piece kitchen conversion chart magnet. And um, it says imperial and metric to standard conversion chart. Um, cooking measurements for food. Measuring weight, liquid, temperature, fridge, magnet, recipe, baking tools, cookbook accessories. Um, this is an eight by six eight by five inch I paid a dollar forty nine for it and if you look closer let's see if we can get closer here you can see the conversions for um, dry weights here um, egg timer oven temperature um, you got your liquid conversions here let's see if I can get away from that glare okay that's better much much better hang on let me turn on the overhead light so much better okay so you got your uh, see here trying to get this closer all right so you got your your liquid conversions here um, I hope that's not blurry um, and then you have your cups teaspoons tablespoon conversions your uh, dash and pinch conversion there and then um, liquid volumes on the back is just the magnet so you just put it on the side of your fridge and that's where mine is going I like this I really like this oh you got your temperature conversions too the uh, Fahrenheit versus Celsius I like that
Okay, that's going to come in handy for me. Okay, I was really excited about these. This you can use for travel or, you know, just at home like I'm going to use them. Um, the labels that come with them. I probably won't use any labels. I may. I don't know. But these right here, I've been waiting for these. These are those little liquid uh, things for traveling. So, I'm sure these would go through TSA because they're clear. I think they're different sizes too. Let me look. Yeah, they are. They are different sizes. Here's um, the taller one. That's Jack. Sorry about that. Shorter one. And, oh, that one's even taller. Wow. These are going to be really, really nice. And let's see, how many do you get in the pack? Okay, um, you get, this is a 17 piece pack. Um, they're called travel pouches for toiletries. TSA approved. Travel size portable containers. Stand up pouch. Uh, refillable travel accessories for shampoo, conditioner, lotion, soap liquids um it says the 17 pieces and it also includes 12 or uh, two sets of stickers i paid four dollars and 49 cents for this one pack and i know i've ordered some more of these um and other orders so i'll be getting more of these too that i can share with my mom and my brother Okay, I want to show this next because I have one of these already and um, I think I got it on the last haul. Uh, but this is one of those soap brushes. I got this one for the dogs. Um, I didn't get a different color. I just picked the first one that was on the page. Um, but yeah. Really soft silicone. really soft silicone the um, soap goes in here and then you can see in the bottom here where the soap is dispensed from and the little holes looks like a button you see uh, but yeah the dogs are gonna love this special sweetie pea she will love it she loves being petted. She's got a loud and noisy bark. I know how those chihuahuas are. But she is going to love this. Okay. And again, for this one, I paid a dollar and 28 cents for that one. Here's the other earring. Um hanger that goes on the back of your ear. Um, hopefully you remember I told you I bought two of these and uh, one for each ear. But I don't guess you need two because they're just for decoration. But you know, if you don't want to wear earrings, you can wear one on each ear. I guess I wonder how comfortable they are. We'll find out. I go into the office tomorrow, so I'll probably be wearing them. Okay. Next, we have, let's see here, these. These are, says five to ten pieces. I got the ten piece, it looks like. Two, four, yeah. I got the ten piece, so I'll probably share these with my mom. Give her five, and I'll take five. And they're double-sided dishwashing sponge for pot and pan dish dishes. Um, 
It's household cleaning tool, kitchen, tableware, um, and it's also called a washing brush. Uh, this is the yellow. I paid 38 cents for the pack of 10. And I'm going to take one out. I'm sure it's my mom, she, you know, she has a dishwasher. She washes the dishes by hand and she puts them in the dishwasher. And I'm like, okay, are you going to wash those dishes? No, I'm just sitting them in there to dry. So whenever she needs, you know, a clean dish, she goes directly to the dishwasher and gets a clean dish out. So she always, and it's just her. So, um... You know, she doesn't have that many dirty dishes. And she does not run that dishwasher. I don't think she's ever run that dishwasher. And I think I've ran it before for my dad. Um, when my dad was still alive on Sundays, he did the dishes. So um, he was washing them by hand. And I asked him, why aren't you using the dishwasher? And he was like, oh, it's just a few dishes. I'm like, oh, Lord, no, you need to use the dishwasher. So I showed him how to use it. I still don't think he used it, though. But, yeah, he did know how to use it. So she's not going to use it. All she's going to use it for is drying her clean dishes. So um, I got her these. I got her. She can share these with me because one side is the pot scraper and the other side is the dishwasher sponge. So she'll like that. She will enjoy that. 10 pieces. Again, I paid 38 cents for the pack of 10. All right. This. Actually, I bought two, three packs. Three packs of these. And, um. Um. It's granary. Greenery Vine. Um, it says party thing, but they're just regular. It looks like uh, philodendron leaves. But yeah, it's just philodendron leaves. They're fake. Uh, simulation Green Vine random style. Um, one piece in each pack. One piece Green Vine. I'm trying to see how long it is. 81 inches. And um, I bought three of these at 78 cents. So um, there's one piece per pack. Okay, this. Let's uh, see what this is. Okay. Oh. Um, this is the fried food picker upper. Kitchen filter spoon is what it's called here. Um, but it's exactly like the last one I bought. And I bought this one for my mom because the last one that I bought, I bought it for me and I should have bought two. And I only bought one. So I wanted to give, give one to my mom. I also ordered uh, some more of those fish fish fry uh, spatulas. Those things work really good. So um, I wanted to give her one of those as well. So uh, let's see here. I'm going to have to use something to hold this closed. But I mean, you don't have to. You just put it in your utensil thing and the way it is. But Till I can get it to her, I'm gonna put this back on it and close it. Okay, so what is the proper name for this? Okay, um, it's called the stainless steel kitchen colander frying food spoon or a strainer spoon. I paid 98 cents for this one. Okay. My mom will thoroughly enjoy that. 
Okay, these are it's a 50 piece roll, reusable rags, lazy rags, disposable cleaning cloth, non woven dish cloth, absorbent paper towel, or if you can use them for kitchen cleaning. I paid $4.28 for the roll. Let's see what it feels like. It looks like, you know, just paper towels, but supposedly they're reusable, I guess. I have some up in my craft room here. Oh, these tear off in little strips, which I like because then you don't waste the whole one. Oh, she got to really pull that off. Okay. So these will come in handy in the craft room. At $4, though, I won't be ordering another roll of these. I'm sure I can find some that are cheaper because I think that's a bit much. I got some bamboo um, cloths that came in a roll. I don't believe I paid $4 for them. I'm, and I may have gotten them from Amazon, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think these are going to work out fine for me. Uh, but I'm not going to buy another roll unless they go on sale. Because I'm not going to pay another $4.28 for just one roll. I might, what I might do is just go on Timu and do a, a price, ask for a price adjustment to see if, because if they've gone down, Timu will do a price adjustment and um, credit you the new price if it's cheaper. So I'm going to go on there and look and see if it's cheaper. Oh, Lord. I got a lot of these because I am looking for a storage solution for all of those um, metal dies I got. And I got a lot of them. So I decided to buy these. I have the, I got the uh, actual notebooks that these will fit in. I got a whole bunch of them from like a, a um, secondhand store months ago. And now I finally have a use <laughs> for them. Um, so I'm going to use these inside of them and put my dies in them. I may even put some, because I got some other ones too, some different ones. And I just actually made an order today with some that has separate pockets. Um that I'm gonna use for my stamps, the silicone stamps. So the, oh goodness. Okay, sorry, I dropped my pen. Um, these are 25 pieces of PVC binder pockets, waterproof, uh, document pouch for uh, filing. And they also have that zipper there. So I paid 1048. Wow, did I really? These are size A5. I paid 1048 for these. I'm gonna have to do a price adjustment. I don't believe that was the price. So I'm gonna do a price adjustment on these as well. Cause wow, that is really steep. You know what? I may have put them in my buggy when they were the lower price and then I didn't check out for a couple days. So the price may have changed because the prices are always changing. So if you get something that's cheap, you might, might as well go ahead and get it, fill your buggy up quick and hopefully hope the price doesn't change. Because normally if I catch it, I will take it out of my buggy and just put it on my wish list until later. 
so but don't forget about the price adjustments I, I I'm not sure if you noticed that feature on there or that option on the site but that's that's what it's for and they will do that for you all right okay I want to show you this this is a microwavable potato bag cooker. Put your potato in there. Cook it to perfection in this bag in the microwave. Um, it says it says it's called the potato express. Okay, hopefully you can see that. It's called the Potato Express, and I'm just looking for the proper um, description of it on my receipt here. Let's see if I can find it without wasting too much time. Um, it's a one-piece microwave oven potato cooker bag, baked potato microwave cooking potato kitchen. Those are keywords. You know, all these descriptions are just keywords. I try to make some sense, but sometimes it catches me off guard. I pay. I bought two of them, one for me and one for my mom. And um, I paid $1.78 for each one. Okay, these are some more of those PVC binder pouches. Uh... Gosh, I hope these will fit in the binder. Um, this is a 12-piece, same as the other PVC waterproof uh, binder pouch. Um, these will hold cash for, like, cash envelopes. Um, for, I only bought one pack of these. I paid $2.58 for this. Okay, this is another... Um, PVC waterproof bag. Um, it's an A6 size, purple, 12 pieces. I paid $3.48 for this, this one. And again, these are all going to hold my, my, um, metal dies and my, uh, silicone stamps. Okay, here are the other two of my, um, my vine greenery <clears throat> that I got. Uh, okay, this, what is this? Um, okay, I guess if I open it up, I can find out, huh? Yeah, let's try it. Okay, it's some kind of mesh, something. Oh, this is one of those those garbage can thingies. I got two of these. One for me and one for my mom, of course. <laughs> She's going to love all this stuff, believe me. Because I only get her stuff that I know she's going to use. So, But yeah, that's what this is. You just hang it somewhere and you can use it for your uh, plastic bags and there's another one in there somewhere and um let's see my dogs are fighting i'm so sorry i might have to take a break quick here to quiet them down um i think it's latte and um jack so um for this, I paid, for two, I paid 99 cents. And I got two black, two black ones. Um, it's the plastic bag holder, mesh hanging storage dispenser, foldable, breathable, washable, hanging mesh garbage bag organizer for plastic bag storage. Um, it's under kitchen supplies. Again, I paid 99 cents each for two. 
here's the other, the second uh, potato bag. Now I got to go buy some potatoes. <laughs> okay, these are 30 pieces in here. And they're called um, adhesive hooks or multifunctional hooks. Um, transparent anti-skid traceless hooks, kitchenware hooks. And um, I paid $2.19 for 30 pieces. But yeah, those are going to come in handy in the kitchen for like mugs and stuff that I want to hang under my cabinets. So, okay. We're going to do the hat. The one piece rhinestone leather pink ladies denim baseball cap adjustable outdoor fashion. Casual style hat for women or girls. Um, it could be a Valentine's gift for her. I paid for this $4.94. Are you serious? Okay, here we go. Let's do this. All right. This is so cute. It's actually going in my car, in my back window. I have a couple uh, denim hats back there now. One, I think I found it at a that secondhand store that I got, that I was just telling you about. Uh, where I got these um, those notebooks from. What's going on in there? Oh, it's got plastic inside to keep it so it keeps its shape. Uh, but here's the adjustable part back here. It says pink. And Timu has a lot of stuff that says pink on it. And I'm guessing because for um, breast cancer awareness. But isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty so cute very pretty it's like some glue maybe so it's going in the, my back window on my car and um i have one in there already that has like a rhinestone rhinestones on the front and it says nope because i always say nope and when i saw that i was like i gotta have that hat so <laughs> And then I have another one that's covered in rhinestones um, that's a cross. So this one is going to go in the middle and it says pink on it. Again, I paid $4.94 for this. I think it's cute. I like it. This is the other garbage or garbage, garbage bag holder. That I'm gonna um, give one to my mom. Okay, this is the last thing I'm gonna show uh, with this particular haul. The rest of the items are storage bags for my brother and a couple for me, and then um, a whole bunch of stencils and maybe a silicone stamp. Um, these are dish towels, four pieces, thick dish towels, hanging hand towels, kitchen rag with hanging loop, bathroom hand towels. I bought two packs and um, I paid a dollar and 88 cents per pack. Two. I got that times two, I got that times two, I got that times three. Okay, so let me open these up. Are they all going to be the same color? Oh no, these look like they're all pink. I'm not going to play that game. Okay. And I bought these because they have them, you know, on the site hanging and you can use them as. Um, you know, instead of using your towel, you can use them to, you know, dry your hands off. So, but these look more like 
dish towels than anything. Um, oh, they are different colors. Okay. So we got, I think there's four in each pack. And looks like the other pack is the same colors. So I got eight of these. All right, all right. Well, that is it for today's haul. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care and happy Timu. Bye-bye.